everybody, Joe here. I'm back again. This time around, I'm going to do something totally different. I often said in the past that if I came across a really big haul of something or something really special, that I would do like an extra pickups video in a month. And well, it's finally happened. I'm doing just that. And right here before me, I've got this big honking cardboard box. I'm not showing you that end because I didn't cover up the uh, address label on it. Don't want any stalkers. Probably already have a couple. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but anyway, here we go. Big honking box. If you remember back in the August pickups video that I did, I called that the biggest haul ever because I got a lot of uh, Atari cartridges. That I believe it was somewhere around... I think between the two lots, actually, that were in there, I think there was somewhere close to 70 games. Well, this box before me has 96 Atari 2600 games in it. And I'm opening it right here on camera. I've got my little handheld so I can, like, show you through it. So I will be cutting between two cameras. Um... This doesn't have quite the quality of the DSLR that's my hard camera, but hey, it'll work. And without further ado, let's open up a box of 96 Atari cartridges. As you see, all of the game cartridges are completely upside down. Let me zoom out of this so you can see what I'm talking about. It's just a sea of the butt ends of the Atari cartridges. Should I flip the box over and risk it? Or should I just start turning cartridges and see what we have? Oh, moved a little packing material and they're starting to flip around. So you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna do it this way since they're already here. Let's see, you got Superman, Street Racer, California Games, that's a double. Bugs. Boxing. My first red label. Check that out. Space Cavern. What's that? Apollo. That's my first Apollo cartridge. Check that out. Sky Jinx. I believe that's a double. And we got Solaris. There's another red label. I've never owned a single red label before, if you can believe that, even with my... Uh, Impressive collection. Here's one that I haven't had before. Amidar. Airlock. That's a double. Hey, my first SpectreVision game, and it's Tapeworm. And we got Strawberry Shortcake. Laser Blast. I know that's a double. Robot Tank. That's a double. Football. Regular old football. That's not a double. You know, the original Atari football game was a... Uh, First arcade game to have scrolling. There's Space Jockey. I know that's a double. I'm just looking at some of these labels. I don't even have to look at the car, the uh, catalog or my collection. Star Raiders. I'm uh, pretty sure that's a double. Home Run. I know that's one that I haven't had before. Barnstorming. That is a double. Space Attack. This isn't even a double. This is like a triple or quadruple, I think. Armor and Bush, another one that's definitely a double. Beanie Bopper, that's a double. Frogs and Flies, I'm pretty sure that's one I did not have before. Rock and Rope, that is a double. Astro Blast, that is a double. Okay, this U.S. Games, I've never had a U.S. Games cart before, and here is Raft Rider, that's a cool looking cart. And here is... Lock and Chase, and it's a white label. Never had a white label M Network game before. That is cool. And now we have Surround. That's a double, but it is a label variant because I have the very first print with the number on the end label. And we've got Video Checkers. Defender, definitely a double. Stargate, one of my favorite games, and of course, a double as well. Outlaw. That's a double. I'm not sure. I think mine is a plain text label. Flag Capture. I never even heard of this one before. Sneak and Peek. Another one of those VidTech games. I've never had that before. Fun with Numbers. 
chopper command. That's a double. Cruise missile. I had this one back in the day, but I do not now. Winter games, another epics game. That's uh, what an Activision, I think, uh, package this. Looking at the shape of the cart, I have no idea. And then here is another Apollo cart, Space Chase. Actually, I have this one. I'm pretty sure. So I've had Apollo games before, just different labeling. Uh, here is one that I've always wanted, and that is Midnight Magic. I love video pinball games, and here's another one for my collection. Casino. Ooh. Raiders of the Lost Ark, and this one has its end label, so this one would be an upgrade for me. Dodge them. 27 Telegames, also known as Target Fun. I believe the actual Atari version of the game goes by a different title, but... That is still cool. Always need to see the the uh, great uh, <clears throat> games uh, from the Sears Telegames because you know they're so different. Here is a copy of Infiltrate. As you can see, the uh, top label is coming off. I will have to do something about that. I always highly recommend glue stick for that sort of thing. Here is Tax Scan. That is a Sega cartridge. I've never seen one that said Sega on the back before. That is cool. Grand Prix. That is a double. Spider-Man. Not a double. More like a triple. Med or M-A-D. Whatever you want to call that. That is cool. Real Sports Baseball. Never had that. The only sports games I think I've ever had were like the Super Challenge. Here is a copy of Mousetrap. This is a fun Pac-Man kind of clone. Never owned it, but I've definitely played it. And some more Coleco carts here. We've got Carnival. I'm pretty sure I've got that. And of course, we've got Donkey Kong. I definitely have that. Porky's. Not a good game, but kind of an interesting one, you know. Always weird to see R-rated movies made into games. Canyon Bomber, that's definitely a double. No Escape, another double. That's actually a really uh, hidden gem of uh, the Atari 2600, if you ask me. And we've got Firefighter, that's a double. Riddle of the Sphinx, another double. Love the look of these iMagic carts. Trick Shot, that's not a double, but another iMagic cart, one without a picture on the label. And here is a non-picture label Atlantis. I've got one with a picture, and I believe there's two different picture variants and then this, so that's pretty cool. Moon Sweeper. Never had that before, and again, it's another text label. Star Voyager in a text label. Another Star Game, Star Master. And here is another uh, Coleco title, Venture. And then we've got the Sears Telegames version of Demons to Diamonds in a picture label. That is neat. Always neat to see picture label Sears games because I never knew that they existed until back when I did my other video. Then we've got Fishing Derby. I've already got that one. I've got most of the uh, Activision titles. Alpha Beam with Ernie, another uh, children's title. This one is a Sesame Street based game, and you have that CCW on the corner. And one of those uh, label variants that the kids' games all had. I have a couple of games like this already. And I've got Boxing, the uh, Activision game. If you've never seen this one, this one's just laughable what the graphics look like on this. And I've got Taz, Tasmanian Devil. Very late silver label. Right there, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty cool. Then we've got plain old basketball. Freeway, that's a double. Yeah. Pretty cool. And it looks like there's a label on top of a label on that. I don't know if that's a, a weird error or what, but that is interesting. I've never seen that before. We've got Plaque Attack. Never seen this game before. I've only heard of it, so that's pretty cool. And we've got Tennis. Getting into the home stretch here, we got G.I. Joe Cobra Strike. Now, was that label supposed to be black and white or did that fade over the years? Now we've got Space War. I know I have got that already. Rubik's Cube. 
That's how popular Rubik's Cube was. They even made video games of it. Vanguard, I've got that already. Mega Force. Another 20th Century Fox game. Have a handful of those. Speaking of 20th Century Fox, here's another one. Turmoil. And Missile Command with the lowercase variant. Crystal Castles. For good things. Real Sports Volleyball. Reactor. I know I have got that already. Sword Quest Earthworld. Got that already. Another one I already have is Towering Inferno. Sea Quest. There's nothing to do with the old TV show. Asteroids. Who doesn't have a copy of that? Journey Escape. Because one day love will find you, break those chains that bind you. Alright. That's Sprint Master. Great to see all these red labels in here. Real Sports Football. Night Driver. Smurf Rescue in Gargamel's Castle. Very cool. Yes, I'm saying a Smurf game is cool. And we've got Squeeze Box. Nothing to do with the song by the hill. Golf. And only two left here. We've got Real Sports Soccer. And I think I already know what this one is. And that is Name This Game. Because apparently they didn't know what to do with it. Wow. As you can see, I stacked a lot of them up behind me as I was flipping through them, and uh, it takes up most of the section of my bookcase right here. Covers up a lot of my NES titles, and that's a lot of games. As you heard me say as I thumbed through them here, uh, there are a lot of doubles. I'd say probably about a third of them are doubles. So that's still 60, 60 plus games that are new to my collection. And that brings my uh, Atari 2600 collection to about 170 games, give or take. So that is damn awesome. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, unboxing slash pickup slash whatever the heck you want to call it. Because I'm still looking at these like just kind of like, wow. All right. Hope you've enjoyed. I think this has gone on long enough. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Take care.